हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand vestigial sideband transmission of analog and digital television, which is VSB transmission of analog and digital television. The vestigial sideband modulation plays a very important role in commercial television. The exact details of modulation format used for transmission. of video signals are influenced by two factors first one is that the video signal exhibits large bandwidth and significantly low frequency signal or low frequency information second factor is that the circuit used for demodulation in receiver must be simple and inexpensive the vestigial sideband modulation plays a important role in commercial television the exact details of modulation format that is used for transmission of video signals are influenced by two factor so the type of modulation that is used will depend upon two factors first one is that the video signals will be having large bandwidth and they are significantly low frequency informations second one is that the circuit that is used for demodulation in the receiver must be simple and inexpensive that's why we can go with vestigial sideband transmission in analog and digital television this figure shows the spectrum of television signal so which consist of upper sideband as well as lower sideband so whatever information that is available at the upper sideband the same information is available at the lower sideband so that's why instead of transmitting both side bands we'll use vestigial side band so that we can transmit one complete side band along with the traces of other side band so that we can save the bandwidth the actual bandwidth of spectrum of television signal is 9 megahertz so instead of transmitting this entire information we'll transmit the complete upper side band along with the traces of lower side band as shown in the figure b figure b shows the transmission spectrum of television signal so here the upper side band is available and 25% of lower side band is present along with the picture carrier and sound carrier so this signal will be transmitted so the transmitted bandwidth is 6 megahertz the actual bandwidth was 9 megahertz by using vestigial sideband transmission the transmitted bandwidth was reduced to 6 megahertz figure c shows the response of vestigial sideband shaping filter at the receiver so this is the spectrum that is reproduced by the filter that is available at the receiver end as you can see we are having the picture carrier along with the sound carrier with the traces of lower side band this is the response of the filter at the receiver now with this information we can reproduce the actual transmitted information this is about vestigial sideband transmission of analog and digital television hope you have understood the topic thank you